Let's look a little deeper now into a life cycle and a work breakdown structure process for this basically rudimentary or heuristics based um, project planning. So you often are in a situation where you've got more than one life cycle going on at the same time. So you'll have to create a, be able to create a project, a lot like this demonstration one here, uh, where there's really two branches of engineering going on. On the one level, I've got a Six Sigma effort to find, measure, analyze, approve, control going on that's running through an organization and coming up with a better way to do some major business process. And as part of its improved phase, it might identify that we need to develop some software system, for instance. So I break out within the improved phase and do a secondary life cycle of initiate, analyze, bid and contract, design and build, and accept and implement. So the five phases of a generic IT life cycle might be how I allocate the IT portion of the overall project to a specific sub-discipline or sub-project. So as a software engineer, I might need to create a plan for this entire picture um, in order to decide how that's going to work in my environment. So if I, if I go ahead then and create that plan, it's going to look something, something like this. So this is a, an overall plan. It's very, very generic. I've created it such that some of the tasks are done and some of them are not. Um, and I'm providing this uh, Microsoft Project file and PDF version with the video you can go ahead and take a look through. So this is just a phase and task level plan um, working that. So if I were to turn on the milestones to see what the milestones are within this plan, you'll see that I have a whole series of approval projects all over the place. There's things that will get approved and managed through this entire process at, at all the different levels of detail as they go through. So it's a fairly traditional plan like any of my others. The difference is the sense of scale that I have. This is a much bigger plan as I go through. So I've got some activities I'm doing in a defined phase, a measure phase. And notice how the phases end with a QA review. That's one of the organizational process focus characteristics of a good engineering practice is that your phases always go through some kind of a, a phase review as they go through. So I've got my analyze phase, my improve phase, and my control phase, followed by the IT sub-project, which has its own phases, each with their own review as they go through. So uh, the process of creating more content than my project control tasks here at the end, uh, the way I always do. So this is no different than a small project plan. It's just a little larger in scale as I go through. So if I turn it on now to look at all the tasks, um, here we go. You'll see that there are hundreds of them because like I do always heuristically now that once I've got the basic phase and task laid out, I start to lay out how am I going to get there? So what are the actual action steps I'm going to follow uh, each for a, a half a day, a day, maybe a day and a half at times, but nice small tasks that I'll be able to track and control in my process, almost always ending with some kind of a blue uh, quality review kind of tasks going through. So a lot of activities coming through this list as I go through. So that's that's basically how I track my process um, in all my different phases. Again, red I use for my approval tasks. Eventually I get down to the end of my control phase, my project shutdown, and I've got my sub-project here that I work out. So it has its own series of tasks. So the entire plant project is here. I'm able to look at it at any level of detail. Notice this is not a particularly large project. It's maybe a, a less than a one-year project, uh, but I've got hundreds of tasks in it as I go through. I'm seeing my way through, uh, including I've got my project execution tasks going on. So this is about a nine-month project, which is pretty normal for me uh, when I do my projects, um, my startup activities, my evaluation, my shutdown activities. So this is just a quick example of a plan I wanted to share with you. And if you give you, if you've got Microsoft Project, you're welcome to use this. Again, I've set everything up as task dependencies and duration. So if you wanted to use this plan or template for one of your projects, all you really need to do is change the project start date and everything in the plan will ripple forward to that given start date. So if you tend to do projects that are about nine months long, which is pretty normal in the industry, uh, then this project plan will get you there as you go. And if you're in Microsoft Project, there's all kinds of other filters you can use. I can look at just my incomplete tasks to see where I stand. This is a useful view in Microsoft Project because it shows me that I'm 23% through my improved phase, but I still have a lingering re approval that I haven't attained back in task 160, 174. So my validating of my analysis results have not been approved by my customer, customer and yet I'm 
a quarter of the way through the improved phase that I go through. So I might want to go back and take a look at that and wonder why is this early phase just hung up on that one approval activity uh, that should be rolling forward. So there's lots of different ways to use this tool. I encourage if you're not a Microsoft Project user to become one real soon. Go ahead and get a copy uh, and learn it. It's a tool that will serve you very, very well as an engineer.